Welcome to the Revangelical Connection. Today we're here with David Platt, pastor of the church at Brook Hills in Birmingham, Alabama, and the best-selling author of Radical. His newest book is called Follow Me and was just released this week from Tyndale House Publishers. Pastor Platt, thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, man. It's good to be with you guys. So just to, to begin, um, could you maybe tell us you know, some things that were going on in your life or just like how God was burdening you and what led you to write your latest book, Follow hmm. Me? Yeah, uh, really, Follow Me was driven by two particular burdens, just personally and pastorally. Uh, one, I'm just convinced, burdened by the reality that scores of people here and around the world culturally identify themselves as Christians who mm -hmm. biblically are not followers of Jesus. And that's, that's Matthew 7, 21-23 is a haunting passage in the Sermon on the Mount in Scripture for me. When Jesus says, many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, you're not prophesying in your name, you're going to perform many miracles, drive out demons, and I'll tell them I never knew you. And many. To think that pastorally, I mean, I stay awake some nights haunted by the thought that many people sitting in church on Sunday, maybe in front of me, will be shocked to stand before Jesus one day and hear him say, I never knew you, away from me, you evildoers. So, what is it really, biblically, and I see this not just here, but around the world in some different contexts, so what does it mean really, biblically, to be a follower of Jesus? And then, flowing from that, so the second burden, personally and pastorally, is this picture of how we take the Great Commission and go make disciples of all nations, we turn it into a comfortable call for people to come be baptized and sit in one location. And there's this spectator mentality that pervades the church that um, I think the issues overlap. I think there's probably a reason why many are sitting back and not making disciples because we've misunderstood what it means to be a disciple in the first place. Because if we are really disciples of Jesus, we're followers of Jesus who believe His Word, who desire what He desires, our lives are abandoned to His will, I mean, that's the essence of what it means to be His disciple, then the overflow of that is going to be making disciples. So in the process of showing what it means to follow Jesus, uh, to be a disciple of Jesus, I try to connect all the way along that, that inevitably, supernaturally, overflow leads to making disciples. So. Now, are you, have you led your church through this kind of... Yeah, both like, these books, really, anything I've done outside, everything I do really in ministry outside of Brook Hills is the overflow yeah, of true. pastoral ministry in Brook Hills. That's what I love about pastoring. I, I mean, that's, and that's what I love most. I love shepherding this people on mission. So that's what I'm giving my life to primarily. And then this just kind of becomes the overflow of that. So this is, the, it's not like one sermon series or anything, but it's the overflow of multiple things we walk through as a, as a church. I don't think anybody in our church who picks this up is going to think, oh, I've never heard David say that. Because <laughs> um, this yeah. is, yes, yeah, and, and their stories fill, well, really both these books, uh, just to see how the Word is coming to life in them. Uh, so this is totally the overflow. Yeah, so, so diving right in, according to 